Joe Biden keeps proving that he's an ancient artifact with his terrible takes. So take a look at what Forbes says. Biden says marijuana might be a gateway drug. Bro, it's 2019, dog. It's 2019. I Former Vice President Joe Biden said on Saturday that he's not sure if marijuana is a gateway drug that leads to the use of other, more dangerous substances. Quote, The truth of the matter is that there's not nearly been enough evidence that has been acquired as to whether or not it is a gateway drug, the 2020 presidential candidate claimed at a town hall meeting in Las Vegas. It's a debate, and I want more before I legalize it nationally. I want to make sure we know a lot more about the science behind it. First of all, it's not a gateway drug. Second of all, even if it was a gateway drug, I don't care. As a matter of principle, if you wanted to smoke some weed to relax on a Friday night after work, you should be able to do that. What's the big deal? You have to understand something. He is just monumentally, colossally out of touch. I mean, not only is he wrong on the policy substance here, and he is that, he's just, he's stuck in a different political era. Guys, this is why, like... Pete Buttigieg, he keeps doing the whole, like, Medicare for all who want it and, like, putting a modern spin on the 90s neoliberalism. Biden doesn't even do the spin because he just doesn't understand that times have changed. And so he's out there and he's like, yeah, I would have a uh, public option. And sure, 10 million people would still be uninsured under my bill, but public options is the way to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> so... And this is just another example of that. If you're Joe Biden and you have a history with the crime bill, you have a history of being agreeing with Republicans when it comes to policing, being tough on crime kind of guy, you should be careful and bend over backwards to be like, oh, oh, that was, you know, at the time it was a different era and now we understand that smoking marijuana is a very similar thing to just having a a glass of beer at the end of the day or some vodka or tequila, whatever it might be, that's legal and marijuana is not. I mean, that is kind of discriminatory. Um, that's also just bad policy. If anything, the alcohol is worse for you than the marijuana. So, of course, now, you know, especially being as part of the Obama administration where Obama pardoned a lot of nonviolent drug offenders at the end of our term together, of course, now I understand we can, we can at the very least decriminalize marijuana. No, no, he's... But you know what he does say? At the end, he goes, ah, oh, but if states wanted to do it on their own, okay, fine, I'll let them do it. Well, congratulations, you've evolved to the same position as Chris Christie, who's a notorious, like, anti-drug, anti-marijuana kind of guy. So here we are. The year's 2019. The guy who's still leading in some polls, Joe Biden, is stuck in the year 1992. And he's, you know, the way that he casually regurgitates debunked old talking points... Gateway drug. Gateway drug my ass. I mean, we still... Is there an argument that maybe cigarettes are a gateway drug? Should we ban those? Because, you know, uh, hey, that could lead to somebody then having some alcohol, and then the alcohol could lead to somebody then having a harder substance or whatever. It's like, they only trot out these terrible arguments for the specific substances that are already illegal and the specific substances that they personally don't like. And that I can't stand for. He doesn't think about this stuff in an objective way or a fair way. Um, since it's not his vice, he goes after it. Really annoying, and reason number 9,742 why he has no business still being in the lead in some polls in this primary. 